Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Igor and I represent Zamal Crew. Behind the camera I have my man Janusz and today we are going to go back to the 80s. We don't have our DeLorean but we have our beautiful yellow Zastava right there. Let's go! Hi Memory! Igor, welcome! Thank you very much, I'm here with Memory. She is the custodian of the 1980s Zagreb and China Museum and she's going to help me out with taking us back to the 80s to create a time warp, time portal to the 80s. Is that right? Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for your coming and uh, you know, I like I like your, I love your glasses. This is so. my actual apro, that's that's <laughs> how I go. Like, uh, yeah. There's nothing about 80s. the 80s, it's just how I am. What do we have there? Yeah, you see this car from Yugoslavia in the 80s. And it has a nickname called Fico. And do you know why it's called Fico? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, actually, it's from the famous cartoon. And because Fico is small, it seems small car, but it can do everything. So it's really well, uh, widely well known and popular in that uh, in Yugoslavia. It is probably kind of reminds me of a yes. Fiat 126P represent straight out of Poland. They're exactly. very, very similar. Exactly. Nice it's car. Cooperation with that Fiat. Let's yes. check the car inside. So how do you like the car? I think it's pretty cool. It's not a DeLorean and it doesn't have too much leg space, but can do, definitely can do. So let's go inside. Let's go. This war is uh, really, uh, our visitors love this war very much because this, you can see very famous icons, very great uh, star, famous people in 80s. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. And we have, of course, MC Hammer. Hammer time. Now we can go inside our exhibition. So this is like a tunnel, a passage to the 80s, isn't it? Yes, yeah, exactly. And then you can see, uh, we actually we pretend this exhibition like in the form of dialogue. Uh, between? Between Croatia and China. And China. Yes, and this is, so you can see in the pictures uh, this is the in the 1980 Shanghai Pudong what looks like. And this is the main square of Croatia Zagreb. I mean the main square um, 40 years before. And then this is like a dialogue like um, women in 80s in China and in Yugoslavia. And also now, this is now um, Shanghai Pudong and the main square of Zagreb. So like uh, to show the difference uh, between the two cities now. So we can actually compare everything. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is our thing. Ladies and gentlemen, lads and lassies, we are back in the 80s and here we have a typical apartment from that time. Eastern Bloc, former Yugoslavia, Zagreb. What do we have inside? What do we have inside, memory? Yeah, actually we have the clothes. This shows 80 special. Yeah. Jeans, typical American spirits. Unrippable, indestructible this... jeans. Oh, this one is really unique Puffy. one. Yes, it's a leather jacket, and you can feel it's really oversized. Hmm. Yes, so 80 special is the, uh, almost everything is about big, oversized, and um, how to say big um, shoulder pads. Yes. Shoulder pads. Yes. So that yes. means that the people were fat and big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe means more powerful. <laughs> Maybe they're more powerful, muscular, yeah, for women. super strong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What else do we have around here? Sewing machine, yeah. telephone, the old oh. school one. Yeah. Actually, you know this one. Uh, it was designed by Christian, a uh, very uh, famous company, and it's got a lot of uh, prize, worldwide prize. So it's. Great to uh, design and experts. We really it love it. It is a really beautiful phone. And kids, you don't know to struggle. Back in the days, people used to struggle while, di while dialing the phone number. Now you just use your your iPhones, your smartphones. Yeah. Oh, I think I remember my old number. I think okay, it was twice. six. Okay. One. Six one. Two. two eight. And now I think double, so that's six, six, one. I'm not sure. Hi, mom. Yeah, it's your son. Do you remember Wendy? Yeah. So now she can say cat. 
and her mom is very proud of her. Do you remember Matteo and Charles? Yeah, those kids are good too. Like, uh, for example, little Charles, when you ask him, what's your name? He replies, my name is Matteo. And Charles, when you ask him, how are you? He replies, I'm happy. Do we try? I wish we could start that, because yeah. actually this is a beautiful one. Traviata Company. So if you want to, if you wanted to actually listen to the vinyls, that was the brand that you wanted to use back then. Tom Jones. You know that? You know him? Yes, of course. <laughs> Nikola Karovic. Did you see Roadhouse? No, I haven't seen it. God damn, Patrick Swayze in jean shorts kicking redneck ass for two hours. Wow. Oh, Dirty Dancing. That's one of my favorite ones. Really, anything Swayze's in, I'm all game. And here we have a typical gamer. <laughs> What's up, gamer? <laughs> what is that? We have a. Is that a Commodore? Yeah, it's Commodore 64. That is like the godfather of all video game machines. And as you mentioned, that the video games were very important in the 80s, but I can tell you that they're very, very important even right now. It still goes on for 40 years. So here we have Commodore 64, and right there, there's Atari. Uh, which is, I think, even older machine than Com yeah. Commodore. Here is game, and here is the office office table, yes. And uh, I want to say that one thing is really typical, special. You see this Yugoslavia passport? Oh, wow. And you know, in 80s, this passport is very special. Why? Because it can, very, um, uh, it can welcome the Western world and Eastern world. So they said it's even more expensive than American passport in the black market. <laughs> now we have hard drives, USB sticks. But back in the days, they had floppy disks, those magical little disks that you could use and put them inside of your Amiga. And you could play some games, you could store some documents using those. In Chinese, surprisingly, I know the word for that is Rampak. So my Chinese is so good. Okay, now we are in the bedroom, for, especially for the ladies. Lady supplying some perfumes right here. Yes. Having something wow. that uh, I'm a little bit. Scared. <laughs> Is that an actual fox on your neck? Yes. I'm a little bit scared. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. But in the 80s, they actually didn't shave a lot of things. So um, actually, just if you want to shave your stash, then you can use that machine. What else do we have here? Is it, is, it, is it the magical hat? Yes, magical hat for hair, for wild hair. For wild hair? What, yes. could, what, could, what could you do? Could, I you, think you, could I you have think. a perm? Yes. If you want to become the part of the Ghostbusters, you can put it on your back and then vacuum and suck in all the ghosts. The 80s Ghostbusters. Hi, I have a very special question for you and you have probably not predicted this one. Really? Don't shock me. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea of this museum? The idea original come from the Zagreb Atis Museum in Croatia. When I traveled and when I dive in the museum, so I feel and I try to, I think it's really good memories and give me a great deep uh, impression. In Shanghai, you know, Shanghai is an international city. We have so lots of uh, international uh, arts and history um, show. But I found that there are not so many um, information or artists from Yugoslavia. So uh, it's a very good way to show the culture and history. I'm a little bit curious about the location itself. So what can you tell me about the architecture of this building and the location? Why have you chosen this location? Okay, now we are located in Shanghai Bund. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, um, near the river. It's a very nice place. And uh, yeah, of course, when I, uh, when I want to open this museum and exhibition, I need to find a great place which is suitable for the um, topics. And uh, this building is 
actually the Shikuman, Shanghai building. It's called Shikuman. It's very typical、uh, architecture type. Yeah. Who was, according to you, of course, the best performer, the musical performer, or your musical hero from that time? Oh, for me, of course, I, I want to choose our Chinese、um, uh, music star. His name is、uh, Leslie Leslie Zhang Zhang Guorong. So popular in eighty from eighties, and he's not only for the he's not only star for the music, and also so great for、uh, movie. Movie star, and、um, until now, the,、uh, so so many、uh, fans、uh, remembered him and loved him. What are your memories when you were a little girl? Could you see some of the、uh, Western influences? You know, the eighteen eighties、uh, is our for China is the first decade for the reform and opening up. Yes, and、uh, our great leader, Mr. Deng Xiaoping, he it's very important for whole China. And、uh, actually, that time, yes, from the music, from music and the movie, yes, we are we 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 can we we can receive more and more information about Western. And I should say mostly、uh, and also from Hong Kong and Taiwan. You told me about one peculiar, specific object upstairs, which was given to you by your mom. And what was that? Oh yeah, that's a accordion. That's a black one accordion. And when I finished my kindergarten, and、um, yeah, that one, my mom bought this from my music teacher. And、um, yes, I, I I learned for I think four or five years that、uh, accordion. I always bring it with me.、Uh, that was the time also where、uh, I think it was the first ever production of the. Journey to the West with Zhu Bajie, Tansen, and、uh, what what are your memories of watching some of the first like professionally made in a way, of course, because their budget was very limited movies. Yeah, classic and famous, and our top topest、um, TV show in in the eighties in China. And that's really、uh, because in that time we do not have so many TV shows, program, everything, culture, things. So at that time we can have so、uh, so great、uh, TV show artist、uh, pro- project. So almost the whole Chinese people, no matter you are younger or older, and everyone loves that. Did you have a TV back then in your in your house? I think my my family when the first TV、uh, machine in my family it's in the late of、uh, in the late of eighties. I I cannot remember. I'm when I was young, yeah, yeah, and I I don't remember the the brand, but I know it's black and white and small like this. Actually, my father bought it from Shanghai because my father can、uh, have due to the work reason, and he traveled to Shanghai. And at that time, many Chinese people in different cities. For example, I come from the north of China, and we we bought a lot of、uh, machines and watch and、uh, fashion clothes from Shanghai. So you know that that time Shanghai is the very important and the, the most open city for whole China here.、Yeah. So in 1979, the one-child policy got introduced, and how do you think it shaped the 80s? Because it must have, right? I mean,、uh, only if you were a truly rich person, you were able to allow yourself to have two or three children, let's say. But you had to pay a special tax, as far as I know, right? So how how did it look like with、uh, with your family or other families that you know?、Uh, how did that shape the lives of people? I'm so lucky, actually. I have a sister. <laughs> Do you know why? I have. I don't know, but you have to tell me. Then I'm interested. Yeah, actually, I'm a、uh, how to say 少数民族 minority or my, minority.、Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm Hui. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Hui. So in our Chinese policy, if you are my minority and you have the right, so for me, I I think it's it's nice because we we live in the、um, uh in the yard in you you have neighborhood,、mm-hmm. and so in our childhood we really play with our neighborhood neighbor neighbors. Um, there are students protest in China,、uh, and for example, the people were not. Allowed to dance during concerts. Yes. Uh, uh, 
the Chinese government was not really willing to bring a lot of, of the uh, Western music here and then. A lot of uh, the students were actually willing to get as much as they possibly could from the West. And do you, do you recall any of that? Was there anything in the TV, the news, etc.? Um, how did that look back then? Like the, the huge part, this, this is like a huge part of the Chinese 80s. Mm -hmm. First of all, I, I don't think our government forbidden something, you mm -hmm. know, because when the government, we, we decided and we get this policy to open and of course, I, I think uh, we are very uh, welcome. When you open your door, it's not, we, we, we don't think about government, it's, we think about the society or people. Sure. They, they need the time and they need um, a process to understand. So for this, um, I don't think our government forbids mm -hmm. something. Uh, but maybe um, I, I know one very interesting thing. Uh, we have a very uh, famous uh, singer uh, called Fei Xiang. And he sings song, Dong Tian Li Da Yi Ba Huo. I don't know. It's like a disco dance, and he need to pro, uh, pro, produce this on the um, uh, Spring Festival uh, performance. Mm -hmm. the, this is the most uh, famous one. He, his dancing is very Western because he he come from Taiwan, I think. Uh, at that time, the director. Um, and the leader of our TV shows and see, oh my God, he, he danced, maybe we just gave him like, you know, shot uh, half of this. When he performed on stage, the director gave him the whole shot, whole the, uh, the So body. you could see his whole body with everything, my all, God. The, mo and and all he, the movements. Yeah, and then he's really, he, he's hot all over the China. <laughs> and it's, I think it's 1980, I didn't remember the in, in 80s, yeah. Whole society and the people, we love that. We, we accept it when, mm -hmm. when, when he, he's welcomed after that uh, performance. So yes, it's the, it's the time for people mm, really open their mind. <laughs> Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Memory, the creator of the 1980s museum. My name is Igor. Janusz is right there behind the camera. We represent Zamao. Please remember about subscribing our channel, giving us thumbs up and leaving some comments about our video and the next place that we should visit. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.